Let's continue our lectures, educational lectures on the topic of digestive tract. Topic today is stomach, how it works. Here on the picture, you can see that stomach outside has a three layers of the muscles. Their purpose is to stretch and when the food is in, to move the food around, basically churning it, to, to make sure that the digestive juices penetrate through the food. Inside the stomach, there is a rugae. Rugae is a gastric folds, they're like a wrinkles. The purpose of them is number one, to stretch when food arrives because muscle curves stretch and accommodate a lot. And the second purpose is to increase absorptive, not absorptive, the surface where the, the uh, digestive juices by stomach get produced. So you want a lot of juices to, to break down the food. So that's their purpose. Now, this is a real picture of the stomach and this actually microscopic picture. So looking between those folds, what's going on in gastric peds. Let's talk about now uh, gastric secret secretory cells. When you start to eat food, you activate your parasympathetic system and you start to produce a mucus by mucosal cells. There are two types of them. Also G cells, G stays for gastrin, will overall stimulate gastric pro production of the juices and will stimulate parietal cells. Parietal cells will produce hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor, which is responsible for absorption of vitamin B12. Basically, when you break protein by hydrochloric acid, nutrients get released, among them B12, intrinsic factor will grab it, will carry that to, to small intestine. In the small intestine, they will become separated and only then, under this condition, B12 will be absorbed. Parietal, uh, uh, hydrochloric acid from parietal cells will activate pepsinogen that comes from chief cells and will convert its inactive pepsinogen into pepsin, will break down the protein. Once again, this is the microscopic picture. So this is the surface of the stomach and you can see mucosal cells, cells are here. Um, uh, gastric pit is this one and here is parietal cells and chief cells. One, one more time to repeat, G cells enter endocrine cells, will produce gastrin, which will stimulate uh, parietal cells, will produce uh, hydrochloric acid and uh, intrinsic factor. Hydrochloric acid will uh, convert pepsinogen from chief cells into active pepsin. So big picture what happened in the stomach, uh, pepsin and hydrochloric acid will break down the protein. Uh, lipa lipase will uh, form uh, fatty acids. Absorption in the stomach is negligible, except some alcohol, drug. When patient is dehydrated, only then water and few electrolytes get absorbed. Result of the digestion. Those muscles that are mixing, the chemical digestion and secretion will create a yellow paste. That yellow paste is very important. It has to be yellow paste because the food is already pre-digested there and it's ready to go into small intestine and finally be broken down further there and only then it will be absorbed. Okay, guys, hire me as your coach. If you have a health problems, I am available. In the next lecture, I want to talk about the diseases that may arrive from the fact that if any of those pathways, conversion from one to another, activation of one to another happened. For now, guys, thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.